So I was going through the feed on YouTube. I came across something Generation 2434 says. Okay, I have to repeat it because he does this. Uh, it's just, it's worth re repeating. Quit listening to people who are telling you what to think and what to believe. Jesus was very clear. Luke 21, 28. And when you see these things come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. He goes on to say more. <laughs> I love this guy. Matthew. Okay, hold on. Let me just fix the camera real quick. Matthew 16, 3. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today. The sky, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but ye cannot discern the signs of the times. Oh, we're going to talk about this. Then in John 13, 19, 19 says, Now I tell you before it comes, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am ye. It is so true. Every time revelations are fulfilled, you just, it reaffirms your faith. Revelation 3, 1. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man can take thy crown. Oh, every one of these scriptures we could go on. Just, let's start from the bottom up. Okay. Behold, I come quickly. Hold thy fast, which thou hast, that no man take, take thy crown. Hold fast, that no one will take your crown. That means just even the fact that you have a crown. <sighs> Exciting, isn't it? You go through all this and you know you have a crown. And Jesus comes with his reward. Beautiful. Ooh. You have a reward and a crown. Okay, let's go on to John 13, 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Once again, there are so many reasons to believe that Jesus is who he says he is. He said who he was when he was on the way to, on the road to Calvary, when he says, I'm going to make things new. And he did. He's doing it. He's proven it just by what happened to the disciples at Pentecost. They were laughing when they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And there's just so much more that we haven't even seen yet. Uh, Matthew 16, 3. And in the morning it will be foul weather to today. For the sky is red and lowering, and ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but ye cannot discern the sign of the times. This is so true. If you ever listen to some of those people that sit there and scoff, they can't even... They don't have the ability to see or discern anything. They just, they they got tunnel vision. Okay, let's go to Luke 21, 28. And when you see these things, be, when you see these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. When you see these things begin to come to pass, that's the beginning. All these things that are beginning to happen, that means it's time to look up. And that's really the final word. Thank you, Generation 2, 3, mm. three 4. He's great. Really is. I, I always like his posts, too. But scrolling through that, I thought it was worthwhile. And, you know, anytime... You get inspiration from what you see on the, the feed. It's always worth talking about, but 
that was just profound. And like I said, we're going to leave off with that scripture. Again, let me mention it one more time because I think it's worth mentioning because I think this is the word for the day. Luke 21, 28. And when you see these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. And you know what? We're there. So lift up your heads because the Lord is coming and we are going to be redeemed. All this incredible stuff that's going on and it's a time of redemption. Wow. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Finally. Amen.